See that? That's V2. In Ultra Kill, there are many boss fights. V2 is one such boss fight. He appears at the end of Limbo and at the end of Greed. For many, this may seem like just a simple boss fight, but this fight is brilliant in ways that will blow your mind. The two fights are amazing in their lore, build-up, combat, resolution, and reward. These two fights are just brilliant, and by the end of this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see at all. It all seemed pretty cool, but did you catch all that? Let's start with the first fight. V2 first shows himself by sliding past you at the door. That is, if you didn't shoot the window first. Once you collect all three skulls or shoot the window, you can access the boss fight, where V2 makes his first appearance. He takes a bow at the beginning of the fight, and you get a good look at him. You'll notice that he looks a lot like you, and there's a reason for that. You are V1, and he is V2. He's you, but stronger. Anything you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you. V1 was built for war, with the ability to refuel through contact with blood. His armor plating is fragile, but he could heal by bathing in the blood of his enemies. V2, on the other hand, was built for keeping the peace, with thicker armor plating that couldn't be healed with blood. V2 would need to resort to blood refueling stations to heal himself. In the fight itself, he can't heal off of you, but he is far more tanky than you, and he could survive damage that would outright kill you. You need to get clo up close and personal to stay alive in this fight, or just dodge. You need to be quick and responsive, because he is the same way. He can use almost every weapon you've had up until this point. He can shoot a pistol, use a charge shot, shoot a shotgun, and use the core eject. However, he cannot parry projectiles, and he cannot heal, which are two things you need to exploit in order to prevail in this fight. His AI is incredibly complex, and he will try to keep you at mid-range, which is where you don't want to be. If you're at mid-range, you can't heal, and you're still in effective shotgun range. You advance, he retreats. You retreat, he advances. This is one of the best AIs I've seen in a while. His wings will change color based on what he's going to do next. Red wings signify aggression, yellow or blue wings signify defensiveness, and green wings signify a retreat. As I said before, this is impacted by the player's aggression. This fight is quite difficult, even for a skilled player. Other bosses in this game may be harder on your first attempt, but they have movesets that can be learned, and patterns that can be predicted. V2, however, is incredibly unpredictable, making this fight consistently hard. However, once you beat him, he retreats, and you get another arm, the Knuckle Blaster. The Knuckle Blaster is a red arm that hits harder and can cause explosions right in front of you that don't damage you. However, it can't parry, so use it wisely. The second fight occurs in Greed, and after a long build-up with a slower, softer version of the first song playing in the background, you see him, V2, sitting on a throne atop the Pyramid in Hell, standing tall as a monument to mankind's greed. This time, he's replaced his missing arm with a green one, and as you approach, he doesn't bow this time. He's done being polite. He cracks his knuckles and the fight begins. This time, he's adapted to your fighting style, and he has everything from before, except he also has the nail gun, and get this, he can shoot coins. Your most powerful weapon can now be used against you. However, the coin freezes for a second, allowing you to score a counter ricochet. The same rules about his wings from before apply here. However, once he's defeated, the real charm of the fight shows. He runs away and jumps out the window, to which the player replies, You're not getting away this time. The player must pursue him, and you follow him out the window. This ends in a chase in which the player and V2 are sliding down the side of the pyramid, blasting at each other. This right here is genius. Game developers, take notes. We need more games like this. I won't get in-depth about how this scene works, but I'll tell you that it's awesome. 
Once his health hits zero, he spirals off as the screen fades to white. When it, when it fades back, you land gracefully on a, on a platform at the bottom of the pyramid, and he smashes into a paste on the other side, leaving behind nothing but his arm. Allow me to introduce you to the Whiplash. It's a green arm with a grappling hook on it. That's right, a grappling hook. I love this game. V2 is a creative and innovative boss fight with unique game mechanics and a compelling story. And that is the brilliance of V2. So that's that. That's the story of V2. V2 isn't even the best boss in the game, but I'll refrain from spoiling that. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like and maybe even subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay bloodthirsty.